Hi, I'm Deborah Price from Boulder County Parks and Open Space, and today I'm coming to you from my backyard. Like many of you, I've been enjoying watching the bunnies and the birds and the squirrels all over my yard, especially as springtime is here. And you probably have taken nice walks around your neighborhood and also getting a little more in tune with nature and noticing things. So today we're going to talk about your nature story. There's a lot of ways that we are like nature. A lot of times people think of people as being separate from nature, like you go to nature or you visit nature, but we're actually part of that whole picture. We're mammals, just like bears and bobcats and bunnies and beavers. So we are part of that whole thing. So what is your nature story? Have you ever heard the saying, busy as a beaver? Here's a beaver, picture of a beaver. Look at those cute whiskers. They've got a big flat tail on the back. Um, beavers are really fun to watch and they are indeed busy. So beavers fill huge dams like this across ponds. It takes a lot of work to do that and a lot of effort and it creates that pond back there that they can live in and raise their family, which is really important. They also have to spend a lot of time putting their lodge together where they can live with their family. So it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort and beavers stay very busy doing that. They even collect wood and other vegetation at the bottom of their pond. So in the winter time, they can swim down and get food to eat when the pond is frozen. So are you busy as a beaver? What about playful as an otter? So river otters are so cute. We just love to watch them. They're very playful and very active. They're actually busy as well trying to survive, but they have a lot of fun in the meantime. So here's a picture of an otter just sliding down a snow bank, just like a slip and slide, which is pretty cool. And here's another picture of them doing like little belly flops in the snow following along. Maybe that's two of them following their mom or something. But otters have a great time and they even know how to relax and have fun. Here's one sleeping in the snow. So are you playful as an otter? Did you know that we have river otters in Boulder County? We've spotted a few near the St. Brain Creek lately. So keep your eyes open. You never know when you might see it. What about, are you tall as a pond or as a pine tree? You might see there's a, pond, there's a pine tree behind me here. It's not a ponderosa, but it's kind of similar. But ponderosa pines can, go, can grow up to 150 to 200 feet tall, very tall trees, and they also have very strong bark. So the bark helps protect them from little fires and, and keeps a tree from, allows it to grow from here to here and get bigger and bigger. They've also got a very long tap root. So this is the ground level and they can grow like up, up to six feet below the ground, which is, you know, taller than most people if they were standing on their heads. So the tap root helps them find water and get strength to the tree. So are you as strong or as tall as ponderous pine? What about dragonflies? Dragonflies are so cute. They're such little cool insects. They're great little predators. They eat gnats and mosquitoes, which is good. And they carry their prey in their, in their feet as they're flying. Oops, I have it upside down. That would help. So here we go. You can see the dragonfly with carrying how it would carry its prey in its feet. Each wing, they have four wings, and they're all connected by separate muscles. So that means they can fly forward and backward, up and down like a helicopter, and maybe even upside down like I had the paper. So they're very agile and very athletic. So are you agile and athletic like a dragonfly? What about robins? Who's, if you've heard robins sing in the spring, you know how the cheerful song they sing to remind you that it's spring. They also have very good eyesight and they listen well to find worms that they can pull out of the ground so they can see the worms moving or see the dirt moving or they listen for the worms and pull them out so are you as cheerful or as observant as a robin there's so many ways that we're connected to nature so now it's time to write, celebrate your nature story so get a piece of paper draw yourself put on there how you feel like you're similar to something else in nature some other animal or plant and draw all the things on there that remind you of how we are connected to nature and we're part of nature. And celebrate your nature story and have a great time outside.